What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Awakened Toast, here, and today, welcome back to some more Pavlov on the channel. I was actually just about to say World at War on the channel, just because how much this actually feels like the original version of Doris. Like, even just, like, the color scale, just everything about this screams World at War to me, man. Like... Even just seeing the Pack-a-Punch door go and, like, rise up at the beginning of the game. Like, this is just unbelievable. But, I just want to say, right off the beginning of this video, I do want to try and do a little bit of Easter egg hunting within this video. Because, I was talking with one of the developers on this map, and he was saying that there's a few little hidden Easter eggs that you can actually go and do within this map. So, obviously enough, I'm going to try to go for a decently high round, like, probably somewhere around, like, round 30, so nothing, like, terribly high. But also on top of that, I'm going to try and do a little bit of hunting on the side as well, because I feel like... There's gotta be something from the old time rumors on this map. Like, literally, he was giving me a little hint at the fact that it was some really, like, old rumors on Doris that was implemented into this version. So, I, I'm super excited to go and hop in and just, like, try to go and find these things. Because when it comes down to hunting these little things that just add more story and development to the map, like, it's just something that's really exciting. Like, especially as a player and someone who's just, like, really enjoyed the uh the entire storyline of zombies like don't don't get me wrong like i don't understand everything to the t like i'm definitely not the best in terms of like knowing like everything chronologically in the zombie storyline i mean you have to be crazy if you generally know how everything worked out <laughs> in the zombie storyline because it is just this big construed thing but yet it was so entertaining and it was so intriguing to learn more about like what what caused zombies and like who's actually invested into like the timeline this that, and the other and like how everything plays into this story like it was oddly confusing but also really fascinating if that makes sense i don't even know if this is gonna make any sense to anyone watching this because i mean i feel like anyone in the zombies community can probably understand where i'm getting at but if you've only been watching my vr videos and you haven't really seen anything about call of duty zombies this probably isn't going to make a lot of sense to you. But, for the most part, I'm just excited to be able to hop in and play some freaking Doris, man. Because seriously, this is just one of those maps that is up in the tops in terms of, like, zombies experiences, man. Like, I love Doris. And the fact, like, even Black Ops 3 going and re-implementing this as the giant. Like, I had an absolute blast in that game, man. And now that we have the opportunity to play this within a VR setting, I mean... You have me sold. I mean, the Easter eggs are great, don't get me wrong, but the fact that we're even just able to play in a VR Call of Duty Zombies map, like in Nocturne Tone, Shinonuma, Verrocked, and Doris, like, you have to be out of your mind. How is this even possible right now, man? Like, it is so cool to be able to see everything to this degree and be able to experience this, like, in the first hand being in the map and just seeing everything like true to scale like for all i know i am currently in world at war like it is so awesome and also not to mention the knifing mechanics i have been just like absolutely loving because i feel like a lot of the pavlov zombies maps that i've seen in the past like they implemented they implemented some of the um some of the mechanics of custom weapons but it always felt like it wasn't wasn't polished enough it felt like they just didn't have enough work around for custom mapping yet and custom weapons but strangely enough with the parody updates especially with like you know all the four uh world of war maps it's been really solid like i have been generally impressed with like the sound design the weapons just the overall feeling straight up depicts what world at war was and I don't know if any of you guys out there are as big of zombie fans as I am or whatever else, but if you had a even just a small amount of enjoyment in OG zombies, you need to give this VR version a shot. I'm telling you, you will literally relive that exact same view that you initially did when you first played zombies. Like, when I hopped into Nocturne Untone for the first time for my last video, I know a lot of you guys probably saw, I generally had terror playing that for the first time and it's so cool because i feel like that's something i haven't had in zombies in so long because like 
don't get me wrong, the new Call of Duty Zombies is like, alright, but I feel like, you know, it kind of lost its flair around, uh, Black Ops 4 time. Like, Black Ops 3, in my mind, was like the last, like, really great Treyarch-style zombies. And, you know, to reach their own, some people really enjoyed Black Ops 4, some people really enjoyed Black Ops Cold War, and whatever else, but personally for me, I just felt like Black Ops 3 was the last, like, hoorah for, uh, you know, Treyarch zombies, but for the most part, man, like, having a VR experience that literally brings back the original flavor and the original, like, attention to detail that zombies was, like, even just the animations of how the zombies walk, I can't get over this, the way the barriers get on the window, like, I, I highlighted that in the last video, so I don't want to talk too much about it, because obviously I don't want to just, like, shove the same stuff down your guys' throats, but, like, it's just cool. It is so cool. I can go and walk over this door, go and open this bad boy up, and, like, all the sounds align, and it's just, it's weird, because something that you grew up with for so many years in your life, and you've played so many times in your life, and, like, everything's just muscle memory and works so well, and strangely enough, that flat screen experience translates perfectly into this VR edition. Which is very rare to happen. Because I feel like, and I'm just gonna be straight up, a lot of VR games that are ports, or even just like mods that are ports, to go and bring experiences that were really good in flat screen and bring it to the VR world, I feel like they always are like a step down, like they never have like enough to get that experience like to really feel like true to a VR experience but the mod developing team for this who has been working on this parody update for the uh, the World at War maps and whatever else like they have done nothing short of perfection in terms of bringing the original feeling of World at War to your headset and it is so cool and the fact that they also got freaking uh custom easter eggs as well like i want to go and check out some of these rumors um i won't be able to really elaborate until we get further into the video because obviously enough i really don't know which easter eggs are actually gonna be in here so we're just gonna have to kind of like play by ear and just like do some tests here and there and if something sticks then we know that's the one that's implemented but for the most part right now we're kind of shooting in the dark so i'm just gonna kind of play this like a normal round of zombies kind of go through it whatever else but you know if we manage to get like monkey bombs that's going to be the time when we go and actually attempt to go and start our Easter egg hunting journey. Because there's something that I want to do with the teleporters. Because I remember back in like, I want to say it was Black Ops 1 and World at War. I did the, the symbol monkey test. Where you'd basically like chuck your symbol monkeys while you teleported and see if you'd do something with it. Which, I don't know if it will in this version, but I don't even remember if in the original it did anything. But I remember trying it. But I don't know if it actually did anything, so it's going to be uh, one of the things that we do test in this one. But, do we're already up to 4,600 points? Holy crap, on round four? Okay, thank you, sir. I will take this gladly. Oh my god. And, oh my god, he was... I was not expecting him to sprint that fast at me. Holy crap. Okay, so I'm actually going to go and buy this next door. And then, I wonder if we'll have enough points... To go, oh, I don't know if we will. I was going to say if we had enough points to go and buy the Bowie knife, but I don't know if we're going to have enough for that. So let's just go and grab some extra points from Double Tap because boy, oh boy, I am so happy that they went and added perk machine points that are actually grabbable in VR, dude. Like, I joked about that in other VR maps with, like, the perk machines giving you points like that, but the fact it's actually in this is so darn cool, man. It is so freaking legit and i think what we're gonna do for this though i'm gonna go and hit the box just to see if we have any luck up the start here and plus i just want something a little bit more powerful than the gavar just so i feel a little bit safer um looks like we got an mp40 which i mean it'll get the job done it's definitely not the perfect weapon for what we're doing here but you know hopefully we'll be able to get some more point racking done with this bad boy as well but I'm wondering Oof. i didn't know if i could get that angle on that zombie that was rising over there Okay, you need to just go down for a second. I want to go and grab the Bowie knife too, but, ah, man, our points are not, not in the greatest position at this time. I can, I can certainly say that, but I'm also really curious if they even have monkeys on this version. I guess I really haven't even seen it in the box. Oh, I just literally Come missed on, my mag. I wonder if I can still pick that up, even though I dropped it on the ground. I'm going to go see if I can do it. Um, actually, shoot. Oh, 
No, 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 no. I gotta be, like, super safe around these guys because, uh... I don't know if you guys are, like, familiar with this, but in World at War, zombies were very sticky. And I don't know if you know what I mean by that, so I'll try to elaborate the best way possible. So basically, in World at War, there was a mechanic with zombies that was very... You know, it was two-sided. Some people liked it, some people didn't. I liked it for the fact that it made things a lot more, uh... A lot more difficult. So basically with zombies, or with the sticky zombies, they would... Any time that you tried to run past these guys and they would smack you, they basically would grab you and pull you into the horde almost. Like, the only way you'd be able to get out of the sticky zombies was by wiggling. So that, that was a method that one of my buddies, uh, Taylor, um, he, he's a map developer for, like, some custom zombies maps. He's done, like, some World of War maps, Black Ops 3 maps, whatever else. Me and him have run quite a few, like, World of War games and whatever else, and one of the methods that he kind of taught me was the wiggle strat. And basically, like, if you get caught by zombies, you kind of just wiggle your mouse and, like, duck and prone and whatever else, and you try to kind of manipulate the stickiness <laughs> and allows you to, uh, it allows you to actually get out of those, um, out of those moments, which is super awesome. Um, shoot, we got dogs, bro. I'm gonna go and get rid of that Gavar. I don't think we're actually gonna use that thing. So, I'm gonna go grab this double points. And I think we should actually have enough to go and buy this Bowie knife, too. Let's go and, let's go and get this thing. Nice. Woo! Yes, and it actually replaces our old one, too. Oh, but I gotta be careful, because these dogs, they're gonna, like, two-shot us, right? Okay, so we gotta not get swarmed by these guys. Ow. Oh, make sure we don't get hit. Watch out, dog. Whew. This is really scary to be, like, going face-to-face -face with these dogs. Oh, my God. Is there another one? Oh, my gosh. It sounded like he was right next to me. Okay, maybe I should just play this safe and not be stupid. Okay, I'm just going to go and reload this because I am really scared at the moment. These dogs are definitely not... They're definitely not here just to play. They, they, are, they are here to kill. They are here to literally kill me. But, oh, my gosh, man. We need to go and get Jug. I I feel way too freaking naked running around under Rees without Juggernaug right now. But, I mean, I could just wait for this round and go buy Jug. But in the same way, like, something's telling me to go and get the mystery box. And, oh, God, they're already... Oh, I don't have my knife. I don't have my knife. I don't have my knife. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I thought I had my Bowie knife out, but that was definitely not true, dude. I literally almost got myself killed there. Okay. Bro, I need to play this a lot smarter. I am playing way too risky right now. I literally went for a Bowie knife compared to being safer. <laughs> like, what was I thinking, dude? What was I thinking? I mean, it's going to be good for point racking, but for the most part, I am playing a very risky ball game here. Okay. Please just don't. Don't double tap me here. That's all I ask. Okay, we're gonna go and shoot these zombies here. We'll go get a knife on you. And actually, I wonder how many more zombies are actually still left. Because we don't have a zombie counter, unfortunately. But, I think we'll still be alright as long as we just play this a little bit smart with our distance. Ooh, we actually almost, almost grabbed a nuke on accident. Holy crap. Um, how many zombies are left, though? Oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't have my knife out. I don't have my knife out. I don't have my knife out. Can I grab my knife, please? Okay. Oh my god! I need to go, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. That was so stupid. I'm playing way too risky right now. We need to get out of here, we need to get out of here stat. Alright, I'm gonna go run back up to the top. And I'm gonna try to run for Jug. Like, I, I really need that right now. We literally got 5,000 points. There's no reason why we shouldn't be going and running for that at the moment. Oh god, okay. Zombie, you need to die. Okay, <laughs> and now it's time to go and grab Juggernog. This is already going so much smoother than our last run, trying to play on, uh, trying to play on Doree, or Doree's. We're on Doree's. I'm on Doree's. But, no, what I meant to say was the last time when we were playing on Nocturne on Toad, and we were very, very rough <laughs> on that one. I mean, dude, we didn't even make it to round 10. This time around, I mean, with perks and just, like, the openness of Doree's, I feel a lot more confident. So, I think we're going to be... They're going to be more than okay on this. And actually, we might have enough points to go and buy over to the other, um... Buy over to the other teleporters to go and get these all linked up. Oh, gosh. You are, like, literally right next to me. Okay. I'm going to go and turn on these teleporters as well and go and get these bad boys linked up. I need to see how this actually works in VR, man. This is going to be really cool. 
Alright, let's go and initiate it. Let's do her. Oh, no way! You're freaking kidding! They actually got... I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen, because I don't know how VR translates to the, the actual recording here. But they legitimately have the timer, like the clock on the top left of the screen. Oh, it's not just a picture. It actually works. Oh, that is legit. Whatever. Get out of here. No, but it still kills the zombies. I should have known better. I should have known better. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. That was stupid to me. Dude, I completely forgot that that actually kills zombies. Uh-oh. Got to make sure I'm still facing the right way as well. Okay. We are good. I'm wondering, do we save up our money for another perk? Or should we go and spam the box for now? I mean, this could be a really good opportunity to try and get, like, an early Wonder Weapon, man. Because, like, if we get a Ray Gun, I'm not joking you, we are golden till round 30. Like, it is so easy if you have, like, other, like, Wonder Weapons on here. Like, especially for VR, man, like, your reloads are, as, like, as fast as you can do them. So you can just absolutely, like, destroy on certain, uh, certain occasions here. Or certain situations is what I meant to say. Oh my gosh, it's Python, though! Oh you are literally a freaking monster. I freaking love this thing. It's so cool. Oh my god. My name's Rick Harrison, and welcome to my pawn shop. Ba bam Oh, I missed him. I missed him. I missed him. Oh god. Okay, let's uh, let's not be stupid here. Okay. Oh my gosh. Bowie knife. Thank you. God, this feels so cool. <laughs> And the best part about having the Bowie knife, and even just, like, knifing in general, is the fact, like, when you're in VR, it's as fast as you can do it. I mean, obviously, I don't know if you can just, like, run around doing this, but, I mean, when it comes down to just, like, the regular Call of Duty, you know, you were only able to do it as fast as, like, the game allowed you to. You know what I mean? Like, basically, you just had the animation that would continuously do it over and over again. But in VR, you're in control in the way you want to do this. So I can run, like, stab this zombie like this, stab him in the head, go and stab this guy slash over that way like it just it feels so unbelievably cool like i wish i could actually like explain it better through this video because like i don't think anything will ever do vr justice compared to actually being in the headset compared to watching it you know what i mean like i feel like you can hear a lot from your friends and whatever else like you know talking to you about these experiences and whatever else but you truly never know how good it is until you start playing it is un freaking believable but i want to see if we can try to get monkeys man i really would appreciate some monkey bombs here because dude if we could get that we could start working on some of these little uh this little easter egg hunt and see if we could possibly find something oh what is this is this one the mg42 oh what oh you're joking hello thank you welcome to the squad my friend holy crap it is good to see you okay only thing that kind of sucks though is like you can't have both of your weapons on your back, so, like, to cook up a nade, it is very, very awkward. So, let's just go and chuck this MG42 for a second. We'll go and cook this up, and we'll chuck the nade. Please, crawler, crawler, crawler. Oh, I threw it way too far. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this guy a crawler! Because it's so hard to cook these nades with, uh, you know, when you have two different weapons. Alright, we're going to throw the MG42 again on the ground, and we're going to try to cook this up. So, let's go and throw it here. Okay. And then we'll go and drop it like this. Perfect. That should make a crawler. Yes, dude! Let's go. Perfect. Now let me just go and grab this, and we will take you over as I go and travel around the map. I want to go and start browsing around. Mister, mister, mister. Let's see, what is that sound? Oh my gosh, dude. You guys hear that? What is that sound, dude? Oh my gosh, it's like so much creepier, like, going through this area and hearing all these, like, little noises. Of just, like, the ambiance of it, man. It's so cool. It's, it's like, super cool, but also very creepy. <laughs> I want to see, is there any... Anything that looks out of the ordinary that would be pointing towards rumor, Easter egg, whatever. Actually, you know what? I am so dumb. Instead of wasting our points at the moment, why don't we go and link all the teleporters and do something useful? <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's probably a bit... A bit more of a, a better decision here. So I'm going to go and buy this door over here. And we're going to go make our way over to the other teleporter spot. So we can go and uh, 
go and get our Pack-a-Punch open, because I think that would be a really good plus side to getting us set up for the, uh, the late game. But, is there, oh, what is this? Can we get to that door? I want to get to that door, dude. That'd be cool. I wish there was, like, other spots of this map that you could actually go and adventure around. Like, that'd be so awesome. Let's go and initiate this. Am I going to be able to even make this in time? Because I forget, like, like, we're in VR, so I don't know if we'll be able to run around the map this fast. Oh, shoot. I, I don't know if we will be able to. Now, thinking about it. Oh, my gosh. We'll see. 15 seconds? Oh, yeah. There's no chance, right? There's no chance. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Please. Please. Let's go. Two, Come on! One, yes! <laughs> I didn't think we were gonna make it! Oh my gosh, that was cutting it way too close. Teleport way too successful. freaking close, man. Holy crap. Let's see what we got. Max ammo? Ah, just an insta kill. Alright. Look at the. Even like the little freaking fuses on top of the pack a punch machine there. Or like the teleporter, more or less. Can we, can we shoot those? It does make like a little glass cracking sound. Maybe we can shoot it with, like, the Wonder Waffle and go, like, power it up or something. That'd be cool. <laughs> Imagine if they had something like that. That would be wild. All right, I'm going to go and steal a little bit more points from you, mister. All right? Let me... Ah, there we go. I wasn't low enough. <laughs> I actually got to, like, dunk more in my room and go into prone just in order to get the coins from under the perk machine. The fact that that's even, like, implemented into this is so awesome, man. Like, who thinks of that? Like, who thinks of adding that little detail, especially into the VR setting? Like, there's not going to be a lot of people searching for that. And the fact, like, he was willing to go and, like, do something like that, that is, it's just awesome. It is so freaking cool. You have 25 seconds. Let's go and link this to the mainframe. To the mainframe! Oh, and also, I completely forgot to mention, thank the lord we got literally the best character to play on solo as. Like, who doesn't want to be Rick Toffin? Are you kidding me? Like, this couldn't have been a better fit for this. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. And there we go. Pack-a-Punch is now ready to go. I mean, we obviously do not have enough points, but Pack-a-Punch is good to go at least. So, that is something. Let's see. Wait a minute. Teleporters are now active. I'm curious. So if we did the teleporting with the monkeys thing, if we teleport with the monkeys, these might light up, and then we might be able to interact with this button. If that's the case, that would be awesome. I don't know if that's how it's going to work, but a man can dream, right? Wait. Double double points? I wonder. I'm curious. If this works like it did in World at War, this would be unbelievable. So, if you got double-double points, you could actually get quadruple points while you're playing. I want to see if this actually works. Okay. And let's go. Okay. Wait, no. Okay, so quadruple points does not work. That would have been a really awesome tie-in if that was actually a thing. But, unfortunately... That is not implemented. That is a very small feature that I didn't expect to be in the game, but I, I was hopeful. That that could have been a really, really awesome implementation. Okay, you know what? This is our time to really get our points up and possibly be able to get pack punch this round, though. Like, oh my gosh. Well, actually, in the same way, though, I don't know if pack punch would be our best decision. Because I feel like hunting the box at the moment might be our, our next thing. Because we really want to get monkeys, man. But in the same way, just to have that firepower at an early round... I mean, I wouldn't be against it, you know what I mean? Like, I think that could be a really nice addition, but I don't know, man. It's it's a hard decision right now. I mean, playing on solo, it's all about, like, the way you want to pace your game. So, like, oh, my gosh, I can't even knife the zombie here. I can't get him. <laughs> I tried to reach him. Come on. Oh. There we go. Oh, my gosh. It's about as hard as trying to knife a zombie in the regular game as it is in VR. Holy crap. I don't know if you guys have ever had that experience when you've played, uh, played in past zombies games, but I remember sitting there like trying to stab a zombie through the window so many times, and the fact I just had that happen in the first hand with VR, that is too funny. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my gosh. Please, just back up, zombies. That's all I ask. I forget, I also have the MG, uh, MG42 on my back. I gotta, I gotta remember that. Hiya! Okay, are you the last one? 
I'm gonna assume... Ooh, we're getting pretty close. He might be the last guy. So I'm gonna go and drop the MP40 on the, the ground here, and then try to go and nade this bad boy. You are gonna be my little crawler friend, because we got a lot of points, my guy. We got a lot of points. Eat this. Please. Yes! Haha! <laughs> First try! And then, where did my MP40 go? Did I throw it to the floor? I don't see it. I don't see it. Am I blind? Am I blind? I don't see my MP40. I might have dropped the one weapon that I'm really comfortable using. <sighs> Gosh dang it, me. <laughs> why, why I think that was a good idea, man? Come on. You gotta be joking. Okay, please. <gasps> Monkey bombs! Yes! Please, just let me, let me grab it. Let me grab it. Let me grab it. I don't care. Just let me grab it. Let me grab them. Let me grab them. Please. What? Where did my monkeys go? Do I have them? No! How do you grab the monkeys? What? I literally just got them! No! That's the one thing about VR that's a little bit rough with some of these custom weapons is the fact like sometimes you can't grab them out of the box. That is super weird. I wonder if there's another button that I need to like bind or something because I've never been able to grab the monkeys on this one. Man, we could have been trying the teleporter thing right now. That That's unfortunate. I mean, hopefully we could still like get monkeys again and then try to give it another shot, but oh my gosh. Holy crap, dude. These guys are right on my tail. I might just go and break out the MG42 and uh, go a little, go a little berserko mode. Let's go. Oh, and they made it like the World of War MG42 compared to the Pavlov version. I don't know if you guys have played much Pavlov, but the Pavlov MG42 literally only has like 42 bullets. Like, it's it's very, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. No, 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 no. Okay, we're all right, we're all right, we're all right. Come on, we'll just run right past these guys. Whoo, dude, training in VR is a whole new level of crazy. What the actual heck? That is so awesome. Okay, we need to go. Let's go and bring that little clip over. Perfect. And now, I should actually buy speed cola because I, I recently figured out that it allows you to skip a step of the reloading process in VR. So, like, you don't actually have to rack the slide back, which is so freaking nice. If any of you guys have played VR shooters, you know how much literally just racking a slide back can, like, it, it can save your time if you don't have to do it. You know what I mean? So, like... If we can get that with Speed Cola, I am more than game, dude. I am more than game. All right, so we got a few zombies running over here. Did they all follow? Oh, we got a few of them coming from this side, and then we also got them running from the other end here. Awesome. I need to go and reload again. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're already jumping over. Shoot. Nope. I did not mean to chuck my bag. Please. Oh my gosh. We need to go. We need to go. Oh, I wanted to like really point rack up this double points, but. Oh, did he get stuck? Yo, that couldn't have been more more convenient. Holy crap. <laughs> they literally got, like, all piled up right next to the packet punch machine. Perfect. Well, hey, I mean, I'm not complaining. That's awesome. <laughs> like, that's a huge plus side for me. All right, let's go and hit the box one more time. And I want to see if possibly we can go and pull some more monkey bombs. That would be great. Nope, we got a car 98. Oh, Ew, dude. Me. Please, for the love of God, give me some good. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. A bar. Monkeys or possibly a ray gun. That'd be awesome. Please? Please? Another car 98. Oh my gosh, dude. You gotta be joking. Okay. STG, I'm sorry. You're gonna go and uh, be out of commission for a minute. I need to go and make a crawler. So, please work. Boom! Dude, we got the timing figured out now. Yes, man. Okay. But... Still, my, my question still lies. How are we gonna be able to get the symbol monkey out of this thing? Like, I still don't know how to do it. Please, I've seen the ray gun a few times in this. No, come back here. No, ha, ha, ha. Ah, man. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I guess as the, uh, the mystery box is going and moving around, there is a little something I do wanna check. I remember there was a rumor about a hanging man over on this end that you could find behind, uh, kind of behind the quick revive area. Um, I want to see if he's actually here in this build, because that would be really cool. Let's see. Or am I too blind? What about the ammo machine? Can I do anything with the ammo matic? I want to see if I can blow that up, maybe. Let's see if it does anything. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. I was hoping maybe he would do something. Where was the hanging man? I thought he was over here somewhere. Wasn't he? Maybe I need a sniper to see him. I'm too blind. Please, just give me, like, a ray gun or possibly the monkeys. I need to get another shot at those monkeys, dude. Browning, you are gonna go away. I'm sorry, dude, but you are horrific to try and reload. I love the weapon, but there's just no shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. Double barrel? Okay, hello. This thing's actually kind of sick. Come on, baby, please. Yes. Yes! Thank you! Finally! We got the monkeys! Okay, so now we can actually work on the teleporter thing, too. Which I shouldn't have bought another box, because we would have been able to teleport with our other points there. But... Wait, the Type 100? Okay, hello. Um, you might actually be a decent weapon to add into the, uh, the little arsenal. But, I do want to go and try the teleporter thing. So, I wonder if we should do it in order. Like, A, B, and C for the teleporters. Because, I mean, this is C. So, I'm going to go start with A quick. And see if this does anything. Because if this actually works with the teleporter thing, I'm going to cry. This would be awesome. But, I also just remembered to... I won't be able to, uh, shoot. I won't be able to queue up the monkeys with having two weapons. Okay. MG, you don't have much ammo left, so you gotta go, my friend. I'm sorry. Let's see. Do I... You actually have to twist it? No way. Okay. Let's go and teleport. If this works, I swear to God. I swear to God. Teleport successful. Did it light up? Nope. Nothing happened there. But it sounded like it made a sound. Did you guys hear that too? I think it made like a initiation sound when I dropped in the teleporter. I think we're onto some. I, I genuinely believe that we're onto some right now. So you know what? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and start this next round. I'm gonna try to get enough points to go and use the teleporter enough times. And then we're gonna do the monkey bombs in B and C. And I wanna see if anything happens after that. I'm starting to believe, like after hearing that sound cue, I don't think that was in the original. So I, I'm, I'm starting to believe we might be onto something with the monkey bombs. I swear to God, if this is actually in the game, I'm gonna cry, dude. That would be so freaking legit. Like, oh my God, I'm just, I'm such a nerd when it comes to this stuff, man. It's like, it's just so interesting to me to be able to like play zombies and like experience stuff for like the first time, but in the VR setting, man. Like, oh my God, and plus, I also do need to go and find a sniper, because I want to see if we can find the hanging man. Because I remember there was, uh, there was a hanging man outside of the map, over by that like little balcony area. So I want to go and check that out and see if we can find that. Um, okay, we need to be careful though, because these guys are sticky, sticky, sticky zombies, and I don't need that in my life right now. Okay, let's go and run over. I wish I had stamina up, man. That would be a world of a difference. Like, stamina up is a godsend. No joke. It is so good. Oh, I need to go this way. Okay, I'm jumping out the window. Don't kill me. Okay, awesome. We didn't take any fall damage for that matter. Ooh, but this thing sucks. Oh my god. This is not a good weapon choice. I probably should have stuck with the uh, MG42. <laughs> Honestly, that thing was a lot better than the type. This thing is kind of booty, if I'm being completely honest. I am not a fan of this. We just need to get a wonder weapon, bro. We have not had any luck in regards of actually like decent weapons. I mean, the the mystery box gave us monkeys twice and that's that's the best of our uh, the best of our pulls so far to be completely frank. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know, actually double tap might be a really good a really good jump too if it's double tap 2.0. Cuz if it's double tap 2.0, we can uh we can do some work with that for damage wise. Looks like the zombies got a little bit stuck over on this balcony, so I'll go and I'll go and help them out. Oh god, okay. Oh my gosh, dude. These guys just take hits after hits after hits. And I do not have any ammo. Nice. This thing's already out. Beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Nope, 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 nope. Holy crap. Okay, that type is gone. I'm not gonna use it anymore. Let's see, can I just... This might be risky, but I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just try to, oh God, I might get pulled in though. Oh, that is way too risky. I don't know if I, I don't know if I have the cojones for that. Yeah, I think we're just gonna, we're not gonna risk it. There, it's just not worth it. At this point, we've already like started working on with the, uh, the monkey bombs. I wanna at least see that through before anything. So 
We're not gonna mess around with anything that could potentially get us- Oh, get us killed! I almost just literally lost our run by getting stuck on that. Oh my god. Insta-kill? Oh my god, hello? Could have you just been here a little bit sooner? Like, literally, if you were here just a bit sooner, we would've been able to do some work. Okay, keep running, keep running, keep running. Time to mow down, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's take her down. Oh my god. Okay, so this does not just go through like all the zombies' bodies in the same time. So that is something to keep in mind. I'm gonna keep, oh, I wanna, you know what? This shouldn't kill both of them, right? This should only kill one. Let's go. Okay, be careful that we don't stab the last one. Perfect. And now we have 3,700 points. So we can actually go and do the teleporter thing now. So I'm going to try to make him a crawler as well. Let's hope for the best. All right. Here, Mr. Zombie, you can eat this. I need you to be a crawler. Yes, man. Dude, we're like on the money when it comes down to making crawlers now. Let's go. Okay, so let's go and grab the next monkey bomb. I do also want to try to throw him in the incinerator. Because I think that would also work on here, right? So let's go and twist this up. We'll go and drop it. Dude, see, it makes that sound, and that's what's... That's starting to make me believe that something's happening with this. Like, we might be onto something, boys. I swear to God. Unless this has to be done after Flytrap. Oh, no, I didn't even think of that being a possibility until now. What if that's the case? What if I have to do the monkey bombs after the Flytrap Easter egg? And if you guys aren't familiar with that... Um, fly trap's basically just when you go and shoot the, um, the little lever that's outside of the map with a pack-a-punch weapon, and then it initiates the hide-and-seek thing with Samantha. It's a Easter egg for zombies. So, if you're not familiar with it, don't worry. Um, it's very simple. I'll show that in this video, um, like, relatively soon, I would say. Probably the, you know, the next time after we're done with the, the monkey bombs and the teleporters, we'll go and try that out. So you did it again! I wonder. Let's see if this does anything. I swear to God. Teleport successful. Anything? Did anything happen? <gasps> Dude! No way! Bro! Stop! Stop! <laughs> what? You're kidding! It actually has the monkey bomb thing in here. What? You know, I generally can't remember if that was a legit thing in the game or not, because I feel like that was a rumor. Am I crazy for saying that? Or was that in the Black Ops 1 version? Because I feel like in Black Ops 1, it was either Deadshot or Stammon that was always there. But I don't remember if the monkey bomb thing was actually a legitimate thing. If it was or wasn't, either way, the fact that that works in VR, bro! Holy crap, dude! I, I, I got tears, man. This is cool. Wow, man. That is so legit. Like, oh my gosh, man. You thought of it all. I'm like, how do you even implement that? How do you get that to work in Pavlov? <laughs> like, what? That is so darn cool. That is way too cool. And I wonder, I'm probably going to kill him doing this, but... I want to see if I can just get... Ah, shoot. I was hoping I would be able to get enough points. I was just shooting him in the body, but we did too much damage. <gasps> but this might be a godsend. Hello? Double points during dog round? This might actually be really meta. Oh, my God. Okay. Never mind. We, we might be in a really good position right now. Let's wait for the pups to come in. Wait for them. Okay. Is it a one-stab? I have no clue. It is definitely not a one-stab. Oh my god. Okay, well, we now know it is not a one-shot kill. Oh my gosh, these dogs are just... They take hits, bro. Oh my gosh. And I don't got any weapons that are just like, you know, one-shot kills here. This is brutal. Oh god, no, 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 no. Doggy, sit! Be a good boy. Be a good boy! Sit down! Wait, actually, does it only spawn two dogs at a time on solo? Oh, no way. That's really cool, too. I'm pretty sure that was in original World of War, right? To basically just help balance out so you didn't have, like, a crazy amount of dogs coming at the same time. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And then in multiplayer, you have, like, two per player, right? Or something like that. Okay, there we go. 2,800 points. I think it's about time we go and run over to that 
that freaking mystery box, dude. And see if we get some luck, because, I mean, I'm not kidding you, man. We we got our monkeys, we got whatever else. We we have that freaking Easter egg working, which is awesome to go and spawn in that machine, but regardless, we're still pretty naked in terms of firepower. So we need something that isn't the bar, because this thing is garbanzo, bro. All right, we need to go and find something that actually will do a little bit of damage. Like, truly, because this, look at this bar, bro. Oh no, let's not do that. Okay. Yeah, I I gotta remember also with Pavlov, if you're uh, if you're not smart, you can easily get trapped in a corner and then you can't shoot any zombies. So I gotta be I gotta be cautious about that. Let's see. Freaking, are you kidding me, bro? Can I can I get a break? I just want a decent weapon, like something that I can actually like kill zombies with at round 13, because I am very weak and i'm scared i'm alone i just want help <laughs> i just i just want help man that's all i want not too much to ask uh, m1 garand oh my gosh i didn't even realize this was the m1 i literally loaded it through the bottom earlier because <laughs> i didn't check to see where the chambering was it's hilarious oh whoops i did not realize it wasn't empty nope ow 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 okay please run we are not gonna die out, especially this late into the game. I'm not gonna let it happen. Holy crap, this literally feels like OG training strats. Oh my god. That is unbelievable how you got to feel this good. Even the zombies, like the way they pull up, it feels like OG zombies. Holy crap. That's really impressive. I need to go and grab stamina up stat though, man. Like truly, that is the next thing that we really, really need. Oh my god. Please tell me they don't spawn at this window, because if they do, we are literally screwed. Okay, we're good. Let's go and jump back down. They're probably going to get stuck over there. And also, oh no, I just wasted a mag. Nothing we can do now. All right, time to go. Time to go, time to go, time to go. Let's keep going. Wait, was there another zombie behind me? I feel like I just got st I knew it. I thought there was, like, I honestly didn't see a zombie beside me, but I felt my character get stuck somewhere. I'm like, that is definitely a zombie grabbing me. So thank God we realized that earlier than later. Because we could have easily gotten pulled into the horde, and that would have been very bad. Okay, let's keep going. We're going post up on the stairs quick. God, I just feel like we don't do any damage, man. Holy crap. And maybe he just, like, doesn't go through all of the zombies. Like, I mean, that could obviously be a factor of it. Is like, maybe it just doesn't go through, like, every zombie. It only, like, shoots through one body. Which, if that's the case, man. Oh, God. 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 I didn't even think there was any more behind me. How did they even get there? Oh my god, dude. We got a few of these guys lagging behind, I guess. Holy crap. Okay, you know what? I might just go and, uh... Might be risky, but... Oh, shoot. No, I'm gonna get rid of this M1. I don't need it. Okay. Drop some nades. We just need to get, like, kills here. Please tell me they're not up here. Please tell me they're not up here. Please tell me they're not up here. Okay. Okay. And we'll drop another nade. That should get a good amount of that pool done. Oh my god, bro. These guys just don't stop. They just don't stop. I literally have no more mags left for my Tommy. Like, you gotta be kidding me, dude. And is that is that a max ammo? I'm pretty sure I just saw it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It literally is. I think it's a max. I think it's a max. Oh my god, dude. I need it so bad. Is it worth the risk, though? I don't think so. I'm just gonna buy the FN. Or FG, sorry, not FM. FG49, I think, right? Or FG42, FG49, something like that. It's FG something. That's all I know. And there is a bunch of crawlers will be blocking my road. Oh, dear God. Can I get past these guys? I think I can. I think I can. Go, go, go. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. I am getting way too ballsy with this. Way too freaking ballsy. Okay, just jump back down. We'll go reload this thing. This is actually kind of a decent weapon, though, for a wall buy. I will take an FG any day compared to that freaking Tommy. I mean, the recoil is a little bit crazy, but other than that, though, I mean, it's it's not horrible. Oh, my. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? To the moon. God. I didn't realize there was Elon supporters and zombies. Holy crap. These guys really went to the moon. That was crazy. You guys saw that, too, right? Holy crap, can I blow up the moon? I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna blow it up. 
Or actually, you know what? I could probably... I think that was an Easter egg, too. Is it glistening at all? I wonder. Because I feel like... If I remember correctly, there used to be an old Easter egg that was rumored. It's not even an Easter egg. It was a rumor. That you could, like, shoot rockets over at the, um... You could shoot rockets over at the moon. And you could blow it up. So I don't know if that's actually possible. Or if there's any other steps that led up to that. But I'm kind of tempted to try it out and just see. Like, that'd be really cool. I'm tempted. I'm really, really tempted. Okay, you know what? I do need stamina up, though. I think that's gonna be the first thing that I do before anything is go and buy stamina. Because, dude, we are in desperate need of speed, bro. We just need to be able to run faster and dodge these freaking zombies, bro. No joke. Oh, can I grab this? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Holy! I thought we were not gonna be able to grab our weapon. Thank the Lord that we're, we're okay now. Okay, we're going to throw these guys down. Oh, man, I feel so much better. I, I feel like I can actually play now. <sighs> Feels good to be speedy again. Holy crap. I feel like I can actually move and run past zombies now. Oh, my gosh, but <sighs> this Tommy, as much as I would love to save you, dude, you've been more of a pain in the butt than anything. Like, honestly, for a wall weapon? I'm surprised that Tommy isn't good in this version. It used to be, like, pretty beast, I thought. Can I go and light the other furnaces? Oh, I wonder if that's in the game. I'm gonna go try that out. Oh, Browning. I would love you, dude. I love you to death, but... I don't know. And we also got our monkey bonds back, too. Wait, we could chuck that in the incinerator and try it. Wait a second. Let's go and try that. I want to see if this works. Oh, it does! He's actually screaming! No way, dude. Let's see if Samantha queues up. <laughs> Mr. Monkey just wanted to play. Oh my, jeez, man, so creepy. Okay, well, I guess the next thing on our list should probably be to get Pack a Punch. I think we need to go and try the fly trap because I want to see if the fly trap's actually uh, gonna work this time around and see if we can possibly be able to go and find like the bears and stuff around the map because if that's the case that's awesome if not I totally understand but i'm gonna hope to god i'm gonna pray that that's actually implemented fully for the easter egg steps because if so that's gonna be awesome all right zombie we gotta go and kill you off An extra 400 points there too baby sign me up god it's already round 14 man kind of nervous to be to be completely honest as much as i'm a zombies fan and as familiar i am with these maps it's a whole different per like a whole different perspective to be playing in an environment like this. So like even though it feels very native to the original, I feel like I still have a lot to learn in ways of shooting my gaps and just like training the zombies and like getting used to the brains of everything and like I don't know. It's just it's gonna take a bit of a oh my god, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Holy no way! No way we just made it through that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Go, 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 go. Thank the Lord for the browning. You are a beautiful blessing to the team. But reloading is not going to be in our uh, in our favor. I can say that right here, right now. And I know that for a fact. This is going to be a struggle fest coming up in just a minute. So, oh, let's see how much more bullets we got. I'm just going to, like, lay out until we can't anymore. Okay. Oh, I almost got stuck again. What am I thinking, dude? Okay, dude. Yes. Okay, maybe we should keep the browning. This thing's actually kind of a monster. Like, the reload isn't the best, but I won't lie. After you get that thing, like, all stocked up and you can just lay down this much bullets, like, I don't think there's any reason why not to keep it. You know what I mean? Okay, let's go. Actually, you know what? I should just go and get speed cola so that I can skip that, uh, skip that entire process. Oh, my God, there's so many zombies. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We shot that gap and we somehow made it. Okay, I'm, run I'm running this way. I don't even care. We should be good this way. I, mm, I need to get Pack-A-Punch. As much as I want Speed Cola, we need Pap. Pack-A-Punch is seriously the main need here. There, there's no other thing that we should be focusing on other than Pap. Because we just need firepower. And also, we need to check out that fly trap Easter egg and see if it's actually like fully workable in this. That's the biggest thing I wanted to test in this video. So, we're going to make that happen. I don't care. No matter what. We're going to make that dream happen. We're going to make that dream a reality. Okay. Let's go and throw that on. Okay. Let's do this thing. Post up. Post up, baby. Okay. I'm not going to get trapped in this corner. Not taking the risk, man. 
I'm gonna actually like pay attention early on so we don't get trapped in that. Not risking it. Not this far in, man. We are so close to getting our pap. Is that last zombie? There's no way, right? Is he last? I think he is. This might be a little bit risky, but I'm gonna do it anyway. He should be able to still become a crawler, unless we shot him too many times and he might just die. Okay, awesome. We're good. We are perfect. Now we can go and actually go and pack a punch our beautiful weapon. Yes! The moment of truth. Go in, my friend. Go! <laughs> oh, that's so... I literally, like, chucked the weapon in there. That's freaking awesome, dude. Holy crap. Look at this beautiful thing with the etching camo. Oh, my God. This thing just looks gorgeous. Okay, ammo, you go right in there. And now... Sorry, zombie, but we need to go and try this little fly trap and see if it works because I have been questioning this entire time if we would be able to do this so we need to go and see if it's actually possible please for the love of God let this work I don't even know let's see if I can even get the right angle oh dude third shot okay we got it and there we go look at oh my god dude That is so cool to see in freaking VR, bro! <laughs> Even like the, the freaking sound of just like the play hide and seek thing. Like, I, I don't know. I'm geeking out, bro. I'm geeking out. That is awesome. If I remember correctly, there was one in like the top of this window. Let's see if we can get a grenade up there. Ah, oh, shoot. There should have been one up there. At least I thought. Unless he moved. <gasps> Wait. <gasps> you know what? I have not tried this yet. This was always something that I tried to do in the original, but I don't think it actually has any effect or does anything, but I want to see if anything would happen. Wait, what was that sound? Did that actually do something? I just heard it go pew! But I don't know if that actually did anything. I mean, it sounded like it activated something. Am I crazy? Anything change? No? Unless that upgrades like monkeys or something, that'd be cool. See the little bear? Oh, there's the bear shootable! Boom! There's one, so they changed the locations of them! Oh my god, dude. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I actually have to go and hunt for these things now. No way. The fact that you actually have to go and hunt for these little these little buggers now compared to just going to the old locations, that explains so much. I was literally looking for so long. I was like, they are not in any of the original spots. I've checked everywhere. I was like, I know for a fact I've checked everywhere. But no, he's actually just went around and changed the locations for each of these guys. That is so cool. So I guess my biggest thing is I'm going to go and look around the map and make sure we don't miss anything outside of it. Like, I think that's going to be where most of these are probably placed, but I might be wrong. But I remember there was some in the cages before. Looks like there's nothing here. Anything inside of this wall? Like inside the glass, maybe? Can you break the glass? Nope. Okay. Nothing inside of here. Just a trench gun. Doesn't look like any shootables. Okay, I don't see anything from that angle. Bro, the fact you actually have to go and hunt for this now? Oh, this is so fun. This is way too freaking fun, man. Like, it beats totally, like, just going and doing the original one. Yeah, the original was great, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed the hide-and-seek on there, but, like, I feel like putting this in VR, this just allows a whole new way to experience the map, you know? This is awesome. Anything up top? Nope. This would have been a cool spot if you would have put it there. Oh, my gosh, dude. Okay, so they may not be in the original spots, but from what I assume, he's probably kept them in the same areas for the sake of searching for them. You know what? I bet there's one over by Teleporter C. I bet it's sitting on the rooftop. I bet it's like over by like the glass. If you look up, I bet it's probably sitting somewhere over there. There's gotta be something. I guarantee it, dude. There's gotta be one up here. But how would I see it? Oh, shoot. Oh, it was! Haha, <laughs> yeah, dude. I totally like I, I just completely threw that as a shot in the dark But like I've always thought about a secret shootable being up on these scaffoldings or whatever these support beams are called Like I've always thought about it. And the fact that it's actually there. That's cool. That's that's awesome So now we just need one more. This is gonna drive me nuts, man 
This is literally gonna drive me crazy. It's gotta be near Jug. It's gotta be like over in this area somewhere, but like where? Oh my gosh, it's gonna drive me crazy. I almost wanna like go and buy a, a mystery box and see if we can possibly get a sniper rifle, dude. Cause if we, if we could get a sniper just to help us see outside of the map, that could be a world of a difference, bro. Like just having that PTRS. Oh my gosh, dude, I would die for that right now. Cause I am struggling to find this thing, dude. I am having no luck. Like, literally, I I don't know how I'd be able to find this thing. Oh my god. There's like one place I haven't checked. I don't know why he would have it here. But he could. I'm gonna check. Because I wonder if maybe he did hide something down in this like little area. <gasps> like down there? Oh my god, that'd be like a perfect area to throw some. Do I have enough for grenades? Yes, I do. Okay. I want to see if this does anything. Nope. Nothing there. This would be such a good spot to hide some, too. God, man. You really freaking hid this, dude. You absolutely nailed it for hide and seek. Because I am not having any luck at all finding this thing. I'm going to waste all my ammo before I even get this done. I'm trying to figure out, like, any angle. Because it's probably just, like, a particular angle you have to look at just to see it. That's what I'm guessing. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna go into the next round and just see if I can possibly get a sniper, dude. This could help out so much, dude. Like, so much. I'm gonna get a sniper, and let's hope for the best. Because the only thing is with Pavlov, I don't know if this server's gonna close yet or not. I wanted to get some more double points. Oh my god, there's a lot of zombies, though. Holy. Oh my god. Yeah, that double points was actually well used. We got up to 4,000 points off of that. So we'll be able to hit a good amount of box hits after this. That's freaking awesome. Oh my gosh, though. I am kind of nervous, though. Because, <laughs> I mean, granted, we do have a pack punch weapon, but we still don't have anything that's, like, a one-shot kill, like, instantly. Because, like, if we had, like, a ray gun or something, I would be confident. Like, no matter what, we could always get out of, like, certain situations if we just, like, one-shot everything. But, like... When I'm stuck using a freaking, like, I don't even know, the browning pack-a-punched, like, it just, I don't know, it doesn't kill instantly. So, I mean, it just, it's very, very risky while we're running around with this thing. Okay, let's go and reload this bad boy. Did you steal my ammo? God, Rick Toffin is amazing. Nolan North, you are one of the best, like, voice actors, no doubt. Freaking loved him, man. Incredible. Is he the last zombie? I think he might be. I think I'm gonna go and try to make you a crawler again, then. Alright, we're gonna drop it. Perfect. Oh, it blew his arm off, so he's not gonna become a crawler. Shoot. We can get him with this one, though. I know for a fact we can get on this guy. Oh, shoot! No, it went to... No! No, don't tell me I'm getting kicked. No way! No! We were so close to getting this secret Easter egg! And I knew it was coming too. I knew it was coming. Oh no! Oh. Well, anyways, guys, if you did end up enjoying this video and would like to see more content made on some more Pavlov VR zombies, then be sure to let me know by dropping a comment down in the comment section below. That is such a huge bummer. I wanted to see if we could potentially like finish the hide and seek Easter egg. Oh, but we spent like an hour and a half looking for that thing, and we had no luck. Like, I literally felt like I looked everywhere. And I had no luck with it. But we figured out today that the monkey bomb teleports do work. We also figured out that something apparently happens when you drop the monkey down the little chute over by the other teleporter. And also, the hide-and-seek easter egg is possible. So I think for the next video, that's what we're going to try to do on Dereez, is possibly find the last bear for that, and then try to go for a high round throughout that. If you guys did end up enjoying this video and like to see more content made on Pavlov, then be sure to smash the motherfucking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, so you guys can stay up to date with all the VR content we post. But other than that, guys, as always, keep it toasty, my friends. Laters. I got some shells for you, boy! Oh, it's in his eye! Oh, I fixed it! I would have no. died! Well, right no, here. No. Oh! <laughs> Armageddon! Yeah! Why in the heck do you not have clothes? You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences! <laughs>